Hey, welcome to the channel today. We're gonna look at a video of Mo Norman from 1987. This video was given to me by a man named Howie Alter, who shot this video on the driving range in Oakville, Ontario, Canada, while Mo was out there in his element hitting golf balls. What I love about this video is this is Mo in his pure element hitting golf balls on the range. Check out this video from 1987, then we'll come back and we'll talk about it. What's your record for hitting the ball with a Yeah. Yeah. That's 105. This way. He's there. He's never going this way. <laughs> I don't know. Sure. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, that's what I'm trying to get him. It's not Mo Norman for nothing. That's a better follow through, Mo. <laughs> I like that. It's long down that line square. Yeah. Way out there. Is that what it is? Yeah, what? Well, that one's offline. Oh, I'll take that. Like how the mole offline, like that. Yes. Look how long I'm down that line. Really? Would you like to explain to the camera what's going on here? <laughs> <coughs> Commentary by Will Potter. Okay, go ahead, a couple, and I'll. It's the it's the weight shift. <coughs> it's the weight shift. Uh, why your club is about eight to ten inches behind the ball at the address? Well, it's just my style. Uh, it's just your style. You wouldn't teach anybody. Would hurt would hurt their eye hand body coordination. You wouldn't teach oh, that. Not here. Oh. No. Heck no. Oh. Uh, when Mo Norman hits the beast coming down, and Mo is hitting firmly in his left side, but watch his right shoulder. He's staying, he, the key in his swing is staying behind it. And one thing, if I had that swing, I'd go back on the tour. <laughs> <laughs> you had that swing, you'd never have come off the tour. And another thing about <laughs> his swing, he's got quick hand action, he's already seen that club. Now he's there releasing that club somewhere around the hips here, or before that. There's only three guys in the world that can do it. Ben Hogan, Mo Norman. Who's the third, Mo? Torino. Torino. Notice how he spanks the ball. He doesn't break his swing up. He's everything steady. He's solid. He's hitting it in his left side. All right, enough of Mo, bud. Is this a... Uh, <laughs> Same way. Oh yeah. Oh, I should say so. Oh. Do I ever? Oh, yeah, all I don't know. Hit it like fuzzy. Oh, boy. Oh. 
It's just so much fun to watch Mo hit golf balls. And I didn't meet Mo until 1994, which is seven years after that video was produced. But you can see, you know, Mo's 58 years old in that video, and you can see the speed he's producing in his golf swing. And so those of you who don't think Mo had club head speed or think that his swing didn't produce speed, you can simply watch that video and see the generation of club head speed and arm speed that he's producing in that motion. Now there wasn't great tools back then to measure that stuff. So that was, that, that's at an era where towards the end of Mo's career, when he was 58, that you start seeing better equipment was being produced. People were starting to measure club head speeds and really get into all that. But that was back in, in the, that was the late 80s in that video. And in the early 90s, you know, when I met Mo, that stuff started becoming more available. When Mo was 64 years old, I measured his club head speed at 107 miles an hour. I can't imagine what it was back there in the early 80s and the 70s when he was in his prime. So I hope you enjoyed that video of watching Mo. Anybody who says he hit it short, it's just not true. Watch that video. There's, there's a lot of club hits being produced. But a couple takeaways that I take away from that video when I watch it is another one, number one, the rhythm of his swing. And you know, he didn't have, people say Mo had a short backswing. He had a, he had a properly positioned backswing, which means that when he takes that club back, you know, his arm is getting a little bent and you're seeing this, this transition in this rhythm. Mo used to say, as I'm going back, I'm coming down. Well, that's part of that rhythm because what's happening is he's going back and he's stabilizing the body so that he can transition and the arms can lag and then he can fire the arms. You need that timing in the backswing. I'm not saying stop at the top of your backswing, but what you need is, you need that time so that you can stabilize and then stabilize again so the arms can fire through. And that's the second thing I love about that video is I love watching the amount of stabilization and the power that he's generating from the arms and hands through the golf ball there. So there's some really good takeaways you can get from watching a video like that of Mo. And I'm gonna put these on my channel. So if you're interested in these type of videos, please subscribe to the channel because I don't want you to miss out on all of the great videos I have of Mo striking golf balls. And this was one of them. I hope you enjoyed it.